Family, family, what's up? What's good? What's good? <clears throat> I want y'all to understand, right? That it's a million ways to scan a cat, right? So when it comes to like business, business credit and everything like that, right? When it when when we dealing with personal loans, business loans and, and et cetera, right? I want you guys to understand that it's a million times harder to get a bank to lend you a fifty thousand dollars in cash versus if you was to try to uh, apply for a fifty thousand dollar vehicle, right? And that's why I tell a lot of people, like you know, especially minority people and everything like that, when it comes to lending and everything like that, you better understand your your resources, right? And and some of the resources I tell people, like hey. These people is willing to give you an eighty thousand dollar vehicle. You just don't know what to do, what to do with it. Let me explain what I do with it, with an eighty thousand dollar vehicle, right? <clears throat> the first thing I do, if it's brand new, um, so let's just say soon I take it out, right? Let's just say I get the loan for it. It's eighty thousand dollars. I sign off on it, and it's brand new. The first thing I do is apply for a title in that same state before the finance department files for it. Because let me explain to y'all. When y'all go through the car buying process, before the title was actually issued out and, and, and the lien holders added to it, it usually be about one month until a title was actually issued. They don't instantly and immediately file for you a title just because you got approved. Usually the finance department has to send that to the title department. Then the title department got to get your file, but you are, you in the line for a whole lot of people, right? So this is all happening behind closed doors, right? So they don't tell us this, right? And so if that is the case, then you can immediately apply for your title instantly the same night you get it. So soon you get it, you can go to this site, right? What, what's, the, what's the name of it again? It's called a bonded title in your state. So every state got its own uh, uh, website for bonded titles, right? And it's not a state website in a sense. It just authorized by the state. So pretty much anybody can fill out for a bonded title, right? And by you applying for a bonded title, you can take that bonded title with your bill of sale when you send that in through your state, and then you can apply for a clean title. Now, fast forward it, right? Let's, let's say they give you the clean title, right? It comes in the mail, right? You can take that same vehicle to Ford, Chevy, GMC, and, and at least expect 80 to 90% to sell that car for, right? So if you buy that, so if you get it for 80,000, let's just say they come back and say, hey, here goes 71,000. We offer you 71,000 or we offer you 65,000. But you might look at it like, damn, the interest will be like 15, 20,000 because the car is 80 some thousand. But you got all that capital to play with. Now you just put yourself in a position where you got sixty, seventy thousand dollars to play with, and now it, it don't stop right there because now you can leverage more. So instead of getting one vehicle, you get two vehicles. Instead of getting two vehicles, you get three. Now you got three vehicles at eighty thousand dollars a pop, and you sell it for fifty, sixty. I mean, sixty, seventy thousand. That's one forty. You're looking at about two ten, two fifteen, two twenty, right? You're looking at over two hundred some thousand dollars, and this strictly in credit. And imagine you paying the the notes on top of that. So not only is you flipping your money, but you also paying the debt down. So now more people are more uh, eager to lend to you. Like, hey, bro, you want to borrow this? You want to borrow that? That's just the credit game. Y'all got to understand it's a, it's a million ways to scan a cat. Don't look at everybody strategies. Like when you see people say, hey, go get a $150,000 business funded. Yeah, that's true. But in a position that they in, they probably can grab it. But in your position, you might only have access to get vehicles. Use that as a source. I'm going to tell you guys another source that I know. Let's just say the phone stores, right? You got Xfinity, you got AT&T, you got um, T-Mobile. What else you got? Um, Verizon. I said Xfinity. So you got all of these phone companies. You can literally go to each of those phone companies and get apply for four lines for your business, right? And let's just say you apply for four lines. And each line for each phone, let's just say thirty dollars each. So you gotta pay that a month. So you get four so you get five phones here or four or five phones here. You get five phones for each store, right? Let's just say you got good business credit, like okay business credit, okay personal credit. So if you get five lines from each one and it's four companies, that's 20 phones. Let's just say you got an eBay account. You sell all 20 phones in one day through eBay. And let's just say you sold it for $1,000 each phone. 
So if you sold each phone for a thousand dollars, how much that is? That's twenty thousand dollars, right? But you're only paying them back thirty six dollars each phone a month. So if you calculate your payments, you would be around three four hundred dollars a month that you'll be paying them. So you you got to look at that like a loan too, because twenty thousand dollars is a lot of money to start, right? So it's many ways to scan a cat. A million, a many ways to scan a cat family. So whether you learn strategies on how to get credit to liquidate it, to make money, to profit off the merchandise or whatever you're trying to sell in the future, or you just getting credit to leverage it to get more, right? So don't ever limit yourself to just, I'm just starting this business like this on doing this strategy. You have to understand where you at financially. And if you're in a position where you only can borrow like useless stuff that the banks see all cars and houses and everything like that, use that to your advantage. It's some people that only can get cars, but they're not using it to their advantage because if you're in a position to get that, you have to understand how to use it. Not only Toro, because Toro is a good hustle, but just think outside the box. A lot of people ain't tapped into them titles yet. A lot of people don't know how to, t a lot of people ain't tapped into getting them titles clean and reselling it. One of my students followed my advice and did it. And he sold his vehicle, his vehicle, work, he bought it for 69. He was able to sell it for 57, right? And then I got another student. They got a Tesla, brand new Tesla. And they bought that for 72,000. He could have sold it, he didn't sell it. But just, just with how much equity that Tesla hold at that time, he could have sold it for about 65000 and that would have been some good money to have. But, you know, fam, that just how, that's how it worked. You know, it's, it's many ways in this game. There's many ways to win. There's many ways to, you know, keep everything going. You just got to find your strategy.